Today the topic of discussion is foreign key in SQL. So we'll understand what is foreign key in SQL and in that we'll study foreign key implementation. Then very, very important topic referential integrity constraint that what is referential integrity constraint and on delete cascade. Fine. So these three topics we are going to cover today in today's video. Let's start with foreign key. Okay. The definition says foreign key is a key whose values are derived from primary key of another table. That is a foreign key values are derived from primary key of another table. That is this table is dependent on any other table. This means actually we are talking of two tables. So in case of foreign key, we all we always talk of two tables at least two table the table from which value are derived is known as master table so the table from which the values are derived is known as master or referenced table and the table in which values are inserted accordingly is known as what child and referencing table so there are two tables as i told you before one is master table from which values are fetched and 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 the child table in which values are inserted fine okay so see the syntax see the syntax of master and child table so the above is the syntax of master table fine and below is the syntax of child table let's let's see so master table is a student where there is a roll number uh, one column having data type integer and this roll number is a primary key in master table then there is a column name having a data type varchar size is 25 then course varchar and size is 10 fine so this is the master table and now you create what now you create a child table then you are creating create table subject role fine there is also a role and data type is in now what is this this is references and this is referencing what student table that is role the the column role having data type int is referencing which student table that is this role has become foreign key in what child table and this role has become what primary key has was already a primary key in, in master table fine so uh, what you are saying that you are referencing this role with this student role fine okay so here is the concept of foreign key and primary key let's move ahead so we have two tables student table uh, that is known as master table and child subject table known as child table and you can clearly see there is one common column in both the table so in order to create a foreign key you must have at least one con common column in the two tables so here this role is acting as a primary key in master table but this role is acting as a what foreign foreign key foreign key in what child table fine so uh, you just see uh, what these two tables is all about and after that we'll study after this slide will study foreign key constraint that is referential integrity constraint okay so let's move further foreign key constraint or referential integrity constraint very very important topic very important topic and it is generally asked in interviews so what is foreign key constraint or referential integrity constraint let's see there are basically two referential integrity constraint there are two referential integrity constraint one is insert constraint what is insert constraint value cannot be inserted in child table if the value is not lying in a master table that is you cannot insert value in child table if that value is not lying in a master table that is you should insert value first in master table then in child table that is insertion to should take place first in master table and then in child table fine okay then comes a delete constraint what is delete constraint value cannot be deleted from master table that is you cannot delete value from master table if value is lying in a child table now it's opposite of insert that is if you want to delete then delete from child first and then master that is if i want if i'm saying if you want to insert then first insert in master and then insert in child but if you want to delete then first delete from child and then in delete from master clear so these are two constraints and if you will not follow this uh, uh, deletion and insertion will not be allowed let's see Oh, let me show you the two tables then two table you have already seen one is a student and one is subject student have having four roll numbers one two three and four and uh, uh, role is also having four roll number one two three and four fine okay now what you are trying to do you are trying to insert a value uh, having roll number five 
subject code is 786 and subject name is OS. OS. This will come in a single code. Will you be able to? Will you be able to insert this? No, you cannot insert this. Why? Because roll number five you are trying to insert in a child table is not present in a master table. So this insertion will not take place. This insertion will not take place because it's violating insert constraint. And what is insert constraint? Insert constraint is value cannot be inserted in child table if value is not lying in a master table. And you can clearly see what you are doing. You are trying to insert five roll number five in what child table and roll number five is not present in master table. Will you be able to do this? No, you will not be able to do this. And I'm giving you a very good example of, of your university of your college. Suppose one of the child or one of the student come to your class and ask you to give attendance. And when you enter his detail, the moment you get an error and by getting that error, you can you can clearly judge that this particular student who came directly to your class has not registered himself in the registrar office. That is registrar office is having a master table that is a master record of every student and what department is having a department is having child record. So if you want to directly insert in a child record, then you will not be able to insert because that record was not present in registrar office. Fine. So this is how you can uh, uh, control uh, the insertion. Okay, then comes second constraint delete from student that is you are trying to delete value from master first that is delete from student where role is equal to four by using this statement what do you want to do you want to delete this this row you want to delete this row suppose if you have deleted this row suppose you have deleted suppose i'm saying suppose you have deleted this row you have not actually deleted suppose you have deleted this row then what will happen then insertion constraint will be violated because role number four is present in a child table but it is not present in a master table so if you delete it then insertion constraint will will come so finally the condition is that you cannot delete value from master table if the value is lying in a child table that is this is also not possible so what is possible if you want to insert insert first insert in master table first and if you want to delete then delete from child table first fine so the the thing which we are trying to do we should have to opposite it that insertion should takes place in master first and deletion should takes place in child first that is if you do this if you do the previous constraint if you do the previous insertion and deletion both insert and delete will statement will produce error what error foreign key constraint violated that is it will not allow you to do okay it will not allow you to do this okay fine okay then comes question can we delete value from master table and child table at one go without violating the deletion constraint that is you want to delete value from master table also and child table also at same time that is as a constraint you know you cannot delete value from master table if the value is lying in a child table but what if you want to delete value from master table also and child table also in one go that is if you delete from here it, it should automatically get delete from this place also so can you do this is it possible yes yes can yes we can hum kar sakte yes we can by doing slight modification yes we can by doing slight modification while creating child table okay so what we need to do here is that we can do this uh, it is practically possible that there should be a slight modification in that and what is mo modification the modification is creating in a child table that is when you create a child table you what you do while creating create table student subject subject is a child table fine you create role as it is you were creating data type is int references student as it is as you did before but after that you write on delete cascade so on delete cascade will let you to delete value from master table first on delete cascade will let you to delete value from master table first that is by deleting you can delete from master also and child also at one go then whatever the uh, remaining uh, uh, column one you can write as it is fine okay so see this now there is a student master table and subject child table and what you are looking to delete delete from a student where role is equal to four you, if you want to delete this now can you delete this Previously, you were unable to, but now you have created this this child table, this subject table using on delete cascade. So the yes, now deletes now delete statement will not produce an error. So this statement will not produce an error, and what you get, you can 
clearly you can easily delete you can easily delete and you can see you have deleted uh, role number four so role number four deleted from this place also and role number four deleted from this place also and there is no violation of insertion fine so if somebody asks you can you delete yes we can delete by what by using on delete cascade so by using on delete cascade you can delete the value from master table fine okay okay but what will happen it will delete from master also and it will delete from child also and you have seen you have clearly seen this okay uh, one there is one other option also that other option is what on delete on delete null on delete null that is in place of this you can write on delete null so what what it's it lets you the moment you write this in place of on delete cascade so it will delete this value from master table but it will not delete the value what will happen it in place of role it will put null other say other will things will remain same suppose the subject was os others thing other things will remain same but this value will become null so what it proves what it proves the question comes can foreign key be null can foreign key be null as we know that primary key cannot be null foreign key be null yes foreign key can be null and we have proved here and we have proved here yes foreign key can be null can foreign key be null in every situation no suppose while creating a child table you have created role the uh, the column role and you have also created primary key over here so if foreign key is also a primary key in a child table then then that cannot be null in that case it cannot be null but the question is can foreign key be null yes primary key in any case cannot be null but foreign key in some cases can be null so this is what i just wanted to tell you so what comes next is the implementation of all these all things which i have taught you right now so implementation will take a long time so i'm stopping my video over here and at last what i'll say is what